stay in the covenant of God. The covenant what he made with you, with me is that. I am your God, you are my people. He's saying that I belong to you, you belong to me. Hallelujah. To stay with him in the covenant. You keep taking this blood all the time. Keep drinking it. Keep drinking that. Remember that. Keep eating that bread. You remain in the covenant. You continue in the covenant with God. Hallelujah. He's very faithful to keep his promises. Amen. And well, to the last week I was really experiencing, you know, I was, so many things I saw goodness of God upon my life and I was saying, I did not even pray today how there's so much God's favor I'm seeing. Because, see, we have that mentality, every day you have to pray for the favor. <laughs> or you have to pray for God to do something. You know, I really got some revelation that for the past week. God showed me that. Because I made a covenant with you. I'm faithful with my co covenant. Because I committed to you already, I'm your God, you are my child. So, as a father, it's my duty to protect you all the time. Amen. Wherever you go, whatever you do, I show my love, I show my favor upon you as a father. I really, that really amazed me. All this time I was thinking, I have to pray, I have to pray for the Lord to do something, I have to pray. But I really experienced the goodness of the Lord. Amen. God, then that's why I'm saying that. When you, when you are worried and afraid, that showing that, you are not believing that He's with you. God is with you all the time. All the time. Because He made a covenant with you. And He's saying that, I never leave you, nor forsake you. So when the trouble comes, when the trial comes, we get worried and we behave like as if he's not with us. We behave like we cry and we too much, like we, we worry, overwhelmed and anxiety comes and fear comes and we do a lot of things. We are forgetting it. He promised already he's with us all the time, all the time. Do you think that in the troubled times he leaves us? All the time he's with us. Amen. And people have a, like a, a false beliefs is that if God is with us, they think that we never face problems. That is wrong thing. That's a wrong belief. Because when Jesus said, let's go to that, yeah, she was mentioning, let's go to the other side of the lake. And Jesus is with them. And Jesus only told them to go. They were doing the will of God. When they were doing the will of God, they faced a storm on the way. Jesus is with them only. With them in the boat. And they were doing the will of God. They obeyed God. But still they faced the storm on the way. That's why we think that when, when we face storms in our life, when we face problems in our life, we think that, oh, maybe we are not in the will of God. Maybe God is not with us. Maybe we are doing something wrong. No. God is with us. Amen. It doesn't mean that if God is with us, it doesn't mean that your life will be smooth and no problems at all. God never promised that. He said that I am with you, I will help you to overcome the problems, but he never said that you will not have problems. He never promised that you won't have problems. He said that in this trouble you will have, in this world you will have trouble. He himself said that you will have trouble. But take heart, I overcame. Amen. What is he saying that? You will have trouble means, he's not saying that I will bring you troubles. Yeah. I'm 
with you. You are in my will. You are obeying me. But do you think, do you know that the someone is going to oppose you? <laughs> when you are working for the kingdom of God, you become an enemy to the other kingdom. Hallelujah. The moment you decide to work to bring the kingdom of God, do you think other kingdom will be keep quiet? Will keep quiet? Other kingdom will fight against you. I'm saying other kingdom means yes. not one demon. Yes, <laughs> the whole network of dark world is against. That is why we need an army. That is why one individual cannot bring the kingdom. You should be in the army to bring the kingdom. Because another army is fighting against us. Hallelujah. That's why you have to have understanding about it. You know. Um, so God is with us. I want you to know that covenant. What the covenant means to us. So even though you have problems, never doubt the presence of God. You are in, and never doubt the will of God. You are in the perfect will of God. You are in the perfect will of God. And you have the presence of God. God is with you. Enemies against you. Enemies causing problems. But God is telling us, take heart. I'm with you. I've overcame all these problems. Remember that in me you have victory. Amen. Hallelujah. Because I overcame. Since you are in me, my victory is your victory. Amen. With your faith, if you can believe in the victory of Jesus, you will receive his victory. Amen. Hallelujah. So that's what I want you to not to be troubled. And become anxious when you are in problems. Remember, God did not leave you. God is still with you. And he made a covenant with you. He is always there. That's why when a person is tempted and gone into trials, he always make a way for the person to come out of the trials. Why? Because he is working out for you. Hallelujah. He is with you. When you are facing a problem, is making a way. Only thing you need to do is that get into the presence of get get into prayer. Pray. That's why he asked you to pray in a such a way. Don't pray like that. Oh God, like no. Pray with thanksgiving. Lord, I know you are with me. Begin begin your prayer like that. Lord, I know you never left me, Lord. You are with me, Lord. I'm your child, Lord. You are my God. I know you have a way in this problem. Lord, I know that you are going to make a way now. You know this problem now. Before this problem comes, you know this problem, Lord. And you made a solution for me already, Lord. Like that. Bring your supplications, your requests to the Lord with thanksgiving, with praises, with worship and present before God. Hallelujah. And the whole thing changes. When people with anxiety, with fearful, with all that. That's why they don't hear God. We don't hear God. But if you pray with faith, you hear God. God, because you acknowledge His presence. You acknowledge that God is with you. You acknowledge that you belong to Him. And He begins to talk to you. Hallelujah. And the other thing, when you are make, when you are taking the the blood um, that uh, the communion, and he said that again we go back to the twenty four verse. Take eat. This is my body which is broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. You know when his body is broken, his that because his body is broken, bringing the body together now. Hallelujah. His body is broken to bring the body together. That is one meaning. 
and also his body is broken for us to receive healing. Hallelujah. So what, that is why, why we are called as the body. Why we are called as the body of Christ. His body is broken and to form a body now. His body is broken to form a body now. That is the church. Hallelujah. And it is and forming a body now. That's why, you know, whenever you take the bread, usually in some churches, they eat the bread with two, three believers together. With, they share their love with each other and they eat the bread. Why they do that? Because they're showing that, you know, no differences in the body, beloved. That's what. You should not, there should not be divisions in the body. There should not be brokenness in the body. Body should be united. Come together. There should be oneness in the body. There should be love in the body. Unity in the body. For that his body is broken. That's why whenever you come and take the bread. If you remember you have you are, you are something against anybody in the church. Uh, before you take. Uh, go to the person. Make peace with the person. And take the bread with that person. That's why. And also if you have... Uh, Blacks, whites, browns, whatever. The colors, races, no racism. You know what? That's what. All the body same. Even though we are from different races, different backgrounds, but we are, we are all his body only. We belong to one body, the body of Christ. So that's why no differences among you. So go to some other race people. Take bread with them. Share. When you are eating the bread, give a peace to them. Showing in a way of expression that we both are one. We both are taking part in the same body. That is actually meaning of taking communion together. We are all one body. His body is broken to form the body, to heal the body again, to bring back healing between members of believers. No differences, no misunderstandings, bring healing between them. Relationships. That is the meaning. Can you do that today when we take communion? Let us take, partake, not on your own. We are doing that because for the past I've been seeing it, it looks so new to me, like just eating by myself. What is the meaning? Why am I eating this bread? <laughs> what is the meaning of this? What, what should I remember? We are all one. When we are having that opinion, when we are eating, how can I just eat by myself? Look to somebody. <laughs> greet somebody. Go to someone. Greet them. And we are all one. Come on, let's take part in the bread. And the, and the blood, now the blood, when, when you're taking remembrance of me, remember what Jesus did with his blood. He made a covenant. Remember the covenant. We belong to him. We inherit God. God inherits us. He is our God. Hallelujah. He never leave you. And everything that belongs to God belongs to you now. All the blessings of God, all the blessings of heaven is coming upon you, bestowing upon you, showering upon you. Amen. All the blessings of heaven is upon you. Hallelujah. Why? He is your God and you belong to him. Everything what the blood does, remember that today. You know, that's why if you don't remember time to time, we have to take this very often because it's not possible to take a, it taking time. That's why, but you know, there that time they used to take communion every day. Because you need to remember the blood, what the blood does to you today. Other if you forget, we end up in fear. Because the things, what is happening around us, that is bringing fear into our life. 
Because we think like them. Oh my God, that happened to them. What, have, what about me? It might happen to me. We end up comparing with everybody. You need to know you are different from others. What made the difference is the blood. The blood. The blood of Jesus is upon you. The blood. The blood made you different from others. That's why when the judgment is upon that Egypt, that death spirit was going around and killing everybody in Egypt. But what God said, put the blood on the doorpost that will never approach you. You will be unharmed. Even everywhere harm is going on. Everywhere the calamity is happening. Everywhere crisis. But that will not touch you. If you put the blood on the doorpost and remain yourself in the house, don't come out of the house. Amen. Cover yourself under the blood that saves you from the rest. Hallelujah. That's what, if you don't remember what happened to you, you are safe. You are under the blood. If you don't believe in this blood, if you don't remind yourself, you will end up in fear. Fear opens the door and what is happening that will happen. Cover yourself. That's what Jesus said. Do this often. That will protect you because your faith in my blood will protect you. Amen. There is protection in the blood but your faith is needed in the blood. That's why when you are taking that blood, remember this now. You need to remember the covenant. Remember what the blood did to us today. Redeemed us. Blood redeemed you from the world. Redeemed you from the curses. Redeemed you from the devil. Redeemed you from sickness and diseases. You are different now. You belong to God. Blood separated. Hallelujah. And you were totally forgiven. When we are singing that song, what can wash away my sins? Hallelujah. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Amen. We were totally forgiven and God made us clean, righteous, holy. That blood. That blood made us holy. Let's start. Can we sing that song again as we um, it's okay, you can sit. As we um, take part in the communion, can we sing that same song about glory? When you're singing the glory, sing. Hallelujah, hallelujah. When we are taking communion, we take communion. Just lose yourself. You can turn to your friends who are sitting beside you. Take communion with them, along with them, bread and Let's prepare ourselves to take part in the Lord's table. Will the Thomas can please come? Will the Daria can please come? Will the Sudi? Will the Dennis can please come?
Let, let's give thanks for the bread and wine. Loving Heavenly Father God. Lord, we thank you, Father Lord, that you've called us, Father, that you've called us each by name, Father. Lord, as we partake, Lord, as we receive this bread and wine, Lord, we remember, Father God, Lord, that you covenant that you've made, Lord, in your blood, that, Father, that, Lord, that you are God and that we belong to you, Lord, that we are your blood, blood bond children, Lord. Lord, that you have made us, Father God, partake us, Father Lord, inherit to, to like, co heirs with our Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, we thank you, Father God, that your blood has redeemed us, Lord, washed us of our sins, Father. Lord, we thank you, Father God, for this bread, Lord, that was broken for us. And Lord, as we partake of one blow, Father Lord, we also, Lord, proclaim, Father Lord, we also, Lord, our but confess with our mouth that we are at one in Christ, Lord. Lord, that there are no differences among us, Lord. Lord, we thank you for the healing, Father God, that your broken body, that stripes in your body, on your body has brought us, Father. Lord, we also remember, Father God, you are coming, Father, that you are coming soon, Lord. And Lord, we also ask, Father God, that the Holy Spirit will examine our hearts and that, Lord, that we will take part, Lord, in a worthy manner, Father. That I can praise you, Father God, that you've considered us worthy, Lord. As this in Jesus' precious name. Amen.
take communion with, uh, preferably someone you're not familiar with. Celebrating their birthdays and wedding anniversaries. Sorry. You know, I 